Hey, this is Joey here, giving you a quick tutorial on Google Analytics remarketing for AdWords. Uh, so we're gonna dive a little bit under the surface here for advanced remarketing strategies. Um, if you may, if you aren't aware, uh, you might not know that Google has recently rolled out uh, over 200 different uh, remarketing metrics where you can make different remarketing audiences for AdWords. Uh, so we're just gonna dive right in here and show you how to do that. So first step is linking your AdWords and your analytics accounts. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just do a quick Google search. It's pretty easy, but as you can see here, our AdWords account is linked. Um, so if you wanna make a new uh, Google Analytics remarketing audience, you click on admin and then you go to remarketing and then click audiences. Um, then you click new audience. So you're gonna choose the AdWords account. This is our AdWords account here. Uh, click next, right? And then at this section, it will let you choose which uh, of the recommended remarketing audiences uh, you want to do. But these are all pretty self-explanatory. This is gonna be everyone who visits your site. This is gonna be new people who visit your site, returning users, people who visited a certain page, so perhaps people who've opted in, they hit your opt-in thank you, they hit your card page, they hit your product page, whatever it is. People who completed a gold conversion, so people who've opted in or purchased or added something to a card again, people who purchased over X amount, and this is related to e-commerce tracking. But if we wanna dive a little deeper in here, we can see all the different options for remarketing audiences here. So we can segment by age. So let's say I want males, right? 25 to 54, pretty easy. Um, I can say people that speak, people that speak English from the US, even more granular. Affinity categories, uh, if you're familiar with AdWords, uh, you'll know from display, uh, you're able to target these people, um, right? So in market segments, similar sort of thing, people interested in certain topics, um, you can do location, so Americas, you can do even cities, so we're located in Austin, Texas. Um, here is pretty self-explanatory. I can do Windows. I can do Windows 7. People who use Firefox, that sort of thing. And you can see you can even get even more granular here. People with a high-res screen, people using a tablet, you know, people using a certain type of mobile device. Um, behaviors, this is an interesting one. So if you set the date range for the remarketing audience, you can say people who visited your site more than three times over the past 30 days, let's say. And it's just that easy. Sessions greater than three. Or you can say people who haven't visited your site in over five days. Or people who haven't visited your site in exactly seven days. Um, if you're doing remarketing for an upsell, let's say, you can say people who purchased once. Or you can say people who purchased zero times. Um, and all of these different metrics, when you add them together, it's gonna be an and relationship. So people who are male, 25 to 44, using Windows 7 on Firefox, made zero purchases. Uh, and now we get to the date, which is very important. Um, so let's say you have a 10 or a 30 day email sequence. You can say people whose first session was between here and here and show them a certain remarketing message. Um, this one's pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever used Google Analytics before, uh, you can sort your remarketing audiences by UTM codes. So. If I wanted to target social media ad geniuses, Twitter traffic, I would just click here. Medium, this would be PPC, whatever it is, keyword, Australia, Facebook tools, you get the idea. Um, we can go into e-commerce a little later here. Uh, this is a condition 
this is a, a remarketing audience type I like to use a lot. Um, so there's a lot of different options here. Um, but let's say you want to say people at a certain page, right? So you can either do screen name, right, which is what they use for apps. Um, so I could say people who hit our home page. Then you can do an and relationship. So with any of these metrics here, um, so people hit the home page and the keyword is Australia. UTN underscore keyword. That would be for the link. And you can add another filter and say you want to exclude people. It's as simple as that. Um, so people who hit our home page but did not hit our blog. And it's really that easy. Uh, and then here you can set sequences. So you can add another step and only people who do this then this. So let's say um, they hit the blog. So we would say screen name again. So they hit the blog and then they hit the home page. And you can do as many different combinations as you want with this. Just think of how many different ways you can segment your traffic using and, using or. You know, so it doesn't have to be an and relationship. It could be step one or step 2A or 2B. Um, or you can remove a step like that. Um, you can exclude people by adding another filter. It's really very simple. All right, so that's how you build your own audience from scratch. The other thing worth mentioning is that Google Analytics actually has a bunch of pre-made remarketing audiences that are rated here. So you can just easily, easily import them, right? Depending on all of these categories here. So let's say I'm an e-commerce company. This will just show me e-commerce specific remarketing lists. So this one's rated five out of five. Let's import this. All website data. Create. Just wait for it to load here. And look at that. We already have all these pre-made remarketing audiences that have already been rated highly from other people. So um, it's really that simple. Uh, as soon as you make a new remarketing audience, just click save. It'll be imported into your AdWords account. Um, but I'd like to just talk for a few more minutes here about the most profitable remarketing audience I've seen, Google Analytics, and that one is time on page. So if you have a video on the page and let's say it's 10 minutes long, right? So it stands to reason that someone that visited your site and watched the video for more than seven minutes is going to be a great audience. So it's very that's it's that simple. You go to conditions, click here, type time on page, save. Um, see, we got 62 people over the last seven days. Uh, another one here is people who've had more than one session. Um, count of sessions. So people who visit your site more than four times over the past X amount of time. See, we've had 38 people who visited our site over the past seven days more than four times. So those are two remarketing audiences that we personally tested and found to be extremely profitable. So one thing to keep in mind here is uh, the smaller your remarketing, remarketing audiences get, the more expensive clicks are gonna get, but I can guarantee that once you have these hyper-targeted remarketing audiences, uh, they're going to make you more money and you're not going to care about another two, three dollars a click at most. So experiment yourself and uh, good luck with your DA remarketing.